Right, welcome to Man of Steel Fan Gives Hope. I had a Facebook page on YouTube. So, one of the news is Spider Man Homecoming has dropped down something like 73 75%. After getting all these critical reviews, it's been given four stars and whatnot here and there. It's been talked about, oh, it's making money, all the posts are coming in. All the biased pages are already talking about how great it was doing and all of a sudden Forbes magazine has came out, one of the, the critics for that, didn't really rate the film that much as well, he's, he's reporting how much it's it's dropped down now. This is the thing and now you got the, the news reports about Marvel and Sony maybe having to rethink it. Some people are posting comments about maybe it was a bad move. Maybe they should have just kept up with Sony and tried to concentrate it because I think me being a Spider-Man fan is as well thought right it's maybe not the cleverest move because uh, Marvel has its own sort of formula and maybe it's not something you want Spider-Man involved in uh, and Andy Garfield one of my favourite people to play Spider-Man so far was just duped on his second film and they went down a whole different route rather than his first outing and then they kept it through that is just my my personal view as well but it, it, for me it proves that critics and rotten tomatoes is nothing to go by and it's actually great in a way to see marvel hit this headstone and maybe it enforces them to to maybe change the strategy uh, about going forward with with um, movies, um, not not stop going forward with movies, but sit back, take it easy, and not just rust them out. Maybe try and listen to their audience as well. Uh, also, um, what's sitting in the headlines? Uh, I watch Collider. I know I shouldn't watch Collider, but they're talking about how you know Wonder Woman has has just totally blown things. You know, blowing things away, blowing the competition away, it's became this one hit, uh, massive hit, keeps on, it basically it's proven Collider wrong in a lot of ways, but I hate the fact they've came out, somebody and they said, um, that is now what the research are about, and they're making Wonder Woman fought forward, and she's meant to be the, she doesn't want, um, they want Wonder Woman now to be these the, the character in Justice League, which is, no, you're going off the tangent there. In these research was already planned donkeys ago. You know, months, months in a planning uh, uh, before Wonder Woman even got out. It's, you know, this is what annoys me is when they talk about research, they don't really talk about much about the, you know, the Marvel research or anything else. It's all about DC Justice League research, and and they're not really a big thing. It's already proven that Zack Snyder is still credited as director, as he should be, because Joss Whedon's involvement is very small. But no, now the now one credit kind of review is saying, "Oh, Wonder Woman now they, she's going to be the forefront of DC. They're going to make her into this big character for for Justice League, and they're going to involve more of her." No, they're not. Uh, <laughs> Is, is another phone going off there? Uh, so listen, let me hear your thoughts. Let me hear, um, let me hear your thoughts uh, and views about what you think this impact on on Marvel's going to be. Uh, Hey, get the phone to mum, it's okay. Right, anyway. <laughs> Phones going off everywhere. So, anyway, so no, it's, it's got nothing to do with Wonder Woman, right? It's not, Wonder Woman isn't the saviour of DC. As I've said a million times before, Zack Snyder's wrote the Wonder Woman movie. It's his vision, it's his vision from dark to light. You know, but critics and, and viewers are not... Critics and biased pages are not seeing the bigger picture. They want something. 
stupidly funny and over and I think the audiences are now speaking. It says, no, we've had a little taste of, of what DC can give. We don't want all the same lovely coloured sort of toned down darkness in their films or wisecracking every two minutes of the film. We don't need all these extra characters like Iron Man and whatnot in the film. You know, they, they just tone it down a wee bit. Let's bring some seriousness into the MCU. Now recently it's been recorded that people have stood up in the Marvel, uh, seen a trailer for the, the latest Marvel films and applauded. And what I've heard is the guy, the, the villain of the piece, Thanos, who's been sitting down for the last 20 films of Marvel and whatnot, sitting in his backside, is suddenly in the trailer kicking butt. Probably the reason why they all stood up and applauded is finally Marvel, hopefully, has got a villain that we can actually invest in and actually think of as a true villain to test the, the Avengers because lately, let's be honest, there's not been a villain in the Marvel Universe that has, for me, has has been any, that has, you know, been a villain, just being a naughty boy that gets you slapped wrist. Even the robot in Age of Ultron, or the, all the Thor movies or Iron Man. To me, so far, the baddest villain is between Lex and Zod. They really have... Right, but I'm being biased again, probably, in my thoughts, but I thought those roles, when you look into them deeply, are really quite... You, you get the backstory. They are being villainous, and their actions are villainous, and... Uh, you know, for a guy that takes on Superman and Batman, he's got to be twisted to see that. But that is just my point of view. But I'm hoping, you know, maybe Thanos will be gradually. I just can't take him seriously. You know, he's wearing coloured rings. He's got a, a, a purple face. You know, and, and it's just. But listen, Marvel fans out there, have have your day. Have your have finally your villain. But let me know what your thoughts are about the critics and reviews and the difference between critics and audience because I think personally through the drop in cinema the audience is telling a different story and it's actually feeding. Now Collider has came out and said that the, the, there aren't biased pages and reviews. This is yes they are. Just because we get a good thumbs up doesn't mean they're biased. We already predicted it would get a good review because it was Wonder Woman was a women orientated film. And they wouldn't dare put a thumbs down on that. Um, but you're getting, um, but what we're getting now with with Spider Man that they're giving all the thumbs up, is is more proof that critics and Rotten Tomatoes are not speaking for the people. And more and more, I look on the website. More and more, I see people saying, "I don't listen to Rotten Tomatoes." They've got to really change their system these critics and reviews and review systems that they have online because it's not corresponding to what moviegoers are wanting to see. Let me hear your thoughts and feelings uh, down below. Please press like, please subscribe, check out my Facebook page, um, Man Steel Fan Gives Hope, and thanks for listening. Yep, sadly, this is going down. Be positive out there. It's going down! It's going down! I'm bringing this... Oh.